Hello world. Today we'll be using the Watchdog module to monitor multiple folders using Python and multiprocessing. One of the most popular videos on my channel is using the Watchdog module to monitor one folder. And uh, I got a comment, a Reddit response, and some emails asking me how to use Watchdog on multiple folders. So that's what we'll do today. So welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the 116th video on my channel where I'm vi building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. One thing I would like Shane to do is perform cybersecurity, both offensive and defensive. And I think uh, this is a good defensive measure is having some sort of watchdog uh, folder checker. So let's check out how it works first. So we'll be monitoring two folders, my downloads folder and my documents folder. So let's run this. Okay, so it's running. So we're going to open my downloads folder. All right, and my documents folder. All right, first let's um, try adding new folders to it. Okay, so there's two new folders. And now we have two uh, logging messages that says, hey, there is a new folder in our, you know, created a directory in this documents and our downloads. See, so it's doing it at the same time. So let's, let's delete those folders. Okay, let's delete those folders. Right, new folder. There it is. And we got two logging infos here as well that we deleted the files. So it's monitoring them at the same time using the same function, but it's using something called multiprocessing. So let's check that out. And the reason why we can run those two functions is using multiprocessing or um, you have the option of threading or using multiprocessing. So I don't know the details on the big differences, the big technical differences, but I found this article and I'll leave it in the description um, talking about the two different um, reasons on why you would use threading versus why would you use multiprocessing. Now I've done a threading video before and I'll leave a card here so you can watch it but um, I decided to use multiprocessing one because it's something new for my channel and two because the author of this explains that uh, you know which should you use so if your code has a lot of input or output or network usage then multi-threading is your best bet because of its low overhead if we have a graphical user interface then multi-threading um, is your best bet here. So threading on the other hand um, is good for right here. Let me go up here. So threading allows you to get around the linear part of Python and so um, it, it's used when you have a lot of downtime. So if you're web scraping um, there might be downtime, so it can switch back and forth, but it's pretty uh, intensive on the CPU. So I'm not sure what's the best in every scenario, but I did like that um, this multiprocessing worked well for our scenario. So you can read more on that uh, with the link in the description. So now let's go through the code. So we're going to import time just because you're supposed to put a little delay into the uh, watchdog. Import logging because that's how you uh, that's the format of the messages. Uh, import multiprocessing. Uh, all three of these are um, standard library. Uh, you will have to pip install watchdog. And then so from watchdog.observers import capital observer. And then from watchdog.events import logging event handler with a capital L E H. So then we're going to initialize our event handler. 
in a variable called event handler equals logging event handler. Then we're going to initialize the observer, which is a capital O for observer. And then here's where we'll um, do our different folders. So the first folder is our downloads folder. Uh, second one or folder one, I'm kind of using a programming way of counting, is uh, our documents folder. So you have to pass the full path. And something that's kind of weird in some languages is that you have to use this backslash. But when it prints out the logging message, it prints out a forward slash like that. And so it messes up my OCD, but whatever. Then we're only going to have one function called the monitor folder. And it's going to accept the folder. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with logging, then just do logging.basic, capital C for config. Uh, these are info levels. So uh, logging has different kind of levels. So info, error. Um, these are the watchdog ones are just infos. The format, as you saw, was the time plus the message that you get. And then the date format of this ASCII time, I wanted year, month, day, hour, minute, second. Um, then the observer.schedule. And then you're going to pass it the event handler, which we started up here. The folder, which is here. And then recursive equals true. Um, not sure what false means, but go ahead and put true. And then you start the observer, right? So it's going to watch the folder. Um, it is going to sleep um, until it, the observer stops. You can keyboard interrupt it. And then you join it. So this is the necessary code for how it works. And it's just gonna, this is just a while loop. So it's just gonna keep doing this uh, observer. Then if the underscore, underscore name, underscore, underscore equals main, which is how you, uh, which is what Watchdog looks for to start. Now this is where multiprocessing starts. So we're going to do a, vi a variable called m, which I just for monitor equals multiprocessing dot capital P for process, and then in target equals, and then you just pass the function. But here you don't call the function, right? You don't do this, right? That's wrong. So the target is this folder right here. Now, if there's any arguments, that's where you pass it here. So arguments equals, and it does look for a tuple, which is two things separated by a comma. So um, if you wanted to put this in a for loop, then you could say for I in range, and you would pass it folder and I. But um, if you don't have a second argument, you just put a comma there. So this folder is the argument you pass to up here, which is initialized up here, our downloads folder. Then you're going to do the same thing, but for call a different one called M1 equals multiprocessing dot capital P process. You pass the function without calling it, and then you pass it an argument. And in this case, folder one to match M1. And then you M dot start. Then you call it right here, m1 dot start, and then you call it, and that's it. That's how easy multiprocessing is. Um, so it seems kind of silly with just two folders, right? But let's say you wanted everything in your C drive, so you could do like a for loop says for every folder in the C drive, assign it a multiprocessing variable. So this would be i equals, then you do i plus plus, so i one. And then you would just have all the folders, and then you would start all the folders, and it would just monitor. So probably not too efficient for monitoring your whole laptop. So definitely have some good, uh, you know, antivirus software. But this would be great if you are doing something specific somewhere where you know that um, you need to monitor specific folders, or you only have one folder. So like if I wanted to do my Raspberry Pi where I save all my surveillance camera footage, it only has one folder and that's what I would want to monitor and send out an alert if, you know, there's tampering with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is mainly a multi-processing video using the Watchdog module. Um, please like the video and thanks for watching. Goodbye world.